Hey kids, now it's time for another kid's message. Let's get ready to see what we can learn from God's word today. Hey kids, today we're going to talk about timing. When it comes to the word timing, we're going to have a specific way to look at that word and what the Bible has to say about it. So for this message, the word timing means the time it takes for something to happen. The amount of time it takes for something to happen can feel different than it does to others. It just depends on what it is. For example, when we watch something on TV, something we watch uh, that we really are not interested in, it can feel like time has almost slowed down. Man, Sawyer, that documentary was awesome. It was only 30 minutes long. That took forever. But if we watch something we really enjoy, it feels like time has almost sped up. Can we please watch something else? No way. So some things seem to take a long time, while other things make us feel like time went by super fast. And this is true for big things in our life that happen as well. A lot of times we may tend to want to do uh, things according to our time. If we think someone is too slow, we may want them to go faster. You're not even going to speak limit. If we feel like we have had to wait on someone for a while, we may want to think that we've waited too long and we want to stop waiting. Come on, the light is green! And that's okay because all of us have our own timing that we prefer. But the important thing is that we know that God's timing is always more important than our own. In the Old Testament, there was a man named Habakkuk who prayed to God and said this. Oh Lord, how long shall I cry for help? And you will not heal me. There was something that Habakkuk thought needed to be done. It was very important to him. And Habakkuk did a great job by talking to God about it. But Habakkuk was so worried about when he thought it should happen, he felt like God was not even listening to him. But of course we know God was listening to him. God hears us every time we talk to him. But what Habakkuk needed to remember is that God's timing is always perfect. There will be times where we may feel like we're waiting on God too. God does not do things based on when we want them to happen, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing because we're not always right, and we do not always know best. But God knows everything. He created the entire world. God also knows the future, so we can always have peace and know that if God has not made something happen yet, it is because it's not time yet. And while it is not always fun, God's timing is always worth waiting on. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for watching us. Please help us know that your timing is perfect. Please help us be patient and know that our timing is not perfect. Amen.